Let's get into it. First, you're going to do a square canvas, 2500 by 2500. And then you're going to go ahead and make the background black. And then you're going to pick a color of yellow, a golden yellow, if you will. And then we're going to add a text. Add whatever text you like. I'm texting, let your light shine. And then you're going to select your whole text and you're going to go pick a font that you'd like. And I'm thinking I'm picking bubble, bubble gum font, I believe. It's a font that I got off of um, defont.com. And then you're going to select with your automatic selection tool. You're going to put on rectangle. Make sure your color fill is off. And then select each word and move them how you want them. You don't have to do this. This is just what I did for this design. Okay, then you can unselect your tool and push your your selection tool and make the whole thing bigger at one time and then what we're going to do is put that oops first we're going to click the wrench tool again and click automatic make sure making sure that your color fill is still off then you're going to select every letter and invert it and then put the feather to four percent and then pick a different color and color fill those in making sure to hit every letter and then you can deselect and then we're going to select that top layer like so and then go back to our layers and then clear that layer and then go back to the top layer and delete it and that leaves you with this outline then you're going to duplicate that one and put one below it and make the top one a reference layer. Make the one on the bottom, go to your adjustments tools there and make the, put the brightness down and then pull it, that bottom one off to the side just a little bit so you have a little bit of overlap. And then put a layer on the top and then we're going to go to our um, soft blend brush which is in your airbrushing tools and pick some brighter colors more pastel-y and just go over all of your text with those different colors making sure your opacity is on full 100% so you can not see through it And once you get that done, we're going to go over here to the adjustments tool and go to Gaussian Blur and Gaussian Blur it out to about 40, 42%. You can still see some poking through there. And then we're going to turn that layer into the color blend mode. It's right on the bottom there next to luminos luminosity. And that you have some glowing. Now we're going to go to that referenced layer and go to Bloom. And just kind of mess with your bloom until you like the brightness of it or how much ever you want it to be glowing there. And then put another layer above that one and go to your luminosity brush that has the flare pen. And you're just going to go around and put a little flare light on uh, one on each letter. And you can either leave it like that, or you can duplicate that layer and go on the bottom one and then go over to your um, adjustments tools and go to motion blur and pull bottom, top to bottom. And that makes those flares kind of flare out more. 
and then you can go to the other layer and go left to right and it'll flare out left to right it just makes it a little more fun and now we're going to put a layer above our reference layer and we're going to go to our um, vin um, our vintage brushes there it is and we're going to pick whatever one you like i'm picking the newspaper one here and i'm going to go to the my selection tool there and select each of the letters on the inside and then click the brush and then just brush over it with that newspaper brush we picked and that's a little too bright for me so i'm going to go in here and turn down the opacity until I like it and then I'm going to make another layer and put it on the very bottom and go to the, lum uh, the luminance brushes in the broken light pen and I'm going to put the opacity down to about 20% and just go around the outside and there you go if you found this helpful like and follow share it if you will